Right off the top tonight, we showed you the winning Powerball numbers. Now we wait. We'll know tomorrow if anyone won. Nine on your side reporter Amy Wattis is live in the newsroom with a big money dream some of you may be having tonight. Amy? Clyde, you're right. It's only a matter of time before we find out whether there's a Powerball winner here in the tri state. But until we do, I talked to a few people tonight who say it doesn't hurt to daydream about what they do with the money if they won. Everyone wants to have the golden ticket. And I just feel lucky today. But until Al Frost finds out if he's a winner, he can only imagine what he'd do with $360 million. I'll never work again in my life. I just work smart. The same with other Powerball customers we talked to at RNS Food Store in Pleasant Ridge. Probably give a lot to a lot of people that are in need. I know that because it's more money than I could ever spend. I could never spend that much money. There's so much more to the world than just Cincinnati, and I want to see it. $360 million is the third highest jackpot in Powerball history. So, why has the jackpot been so high lately? It's because tickets cost $2 now instead of a dollar, nearly doubling the money that's now going towards the jackpot. The guaranteed starting jackpot has doubled from $20 million to $40 million. If I don't want to buy them, then I don't buy them. But I do, so that's just it. I don't, you know, I don't complain about it because I buy them. The Ohio Lottery Commission is looking into ways it can reward its most loyal customers. If this happens, players would accumulate points for playing lottery games, then redeem those points for prizes and more. Just like you get points in the gas station, you get points for going to various stores. And that loyalty program will begin in the fall if everything goes as planned. Back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Amy.